what is up everybody welcome back to real time i'm rob and i'm bryce and today we are back with season three episode three of the bear this one is called doors but the way the last one left off this one's called doors got a strong feeling this is going to be night one like the actual opening obviously last season ended with like family night it was kind of like a uh, dress rehearsal in a way them like just seeing if they could actually do it and i mean they got through it but <laughs> it was not easy whatsoever so uh i hope that night one like the actual opening will go better than that i feel like it will especially because carmy is going to be there hopefully i mean regardless it's it's going to be chaotic they're going to be screaming at each other they're going to be arguing like that's just a guaranteed like it's the bear that's what's going to happen but hopefully nobody gets locked in the freezer and we can just get through this night i would honestly say the opposite and think that night one is going to go worse than the oh, previous man. because just be based off of how last episode went carmy just changed everything overnight and it's like what are we doing and no one's on the same page it's like what are these non-negotiables you just made up all this stuff the day before we're changing our menu every day like that is just absolutely crazy so i mean i think guaranteed night one's gonna be so chaotic like people just confused it's like we don't even really have practice like what are we doing and i know like most of their servers quit too so it's like is everything even lined up to like work i don't know i think it's one of those things that like like anything it'll get better as time goes on but this first night's gonna be tough i think but I i'm all here for it i'm ready for the anxiety the drama i think it's gonna be awesome all right guys that's pretty much it before we do get into the episode if you have been liking these reactions to the bear please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said we're gonna get right into the episode season three episode three of the bear doors let's do it Marcus. Marcus's mom's funeral. Glad that everybody's here, though. Oh, man. Don't do it, brother. I don't know brother. if I'm ready for don't this. Don't do it. Might start flooding. She was really smart, and she loved everyone. I think you can tell because there's so many people here. I always felt love. I knew she was listening. And she knew I was listening too. And having someone actually really pay attention to you, that was, that was really special. Thank you everyone for being here. Well said, Marcus. That was a quiet first part I of mean, the video. Just couldn't really interrupt him. Yeah. Wanted to let him get it out. I would have been a blubbering mess if I was him. Those like, those always get me. I don't know, dude. Oh. Check. Tickets good? Yeah, check. Sharpie? Check. We're good. Everything's in line. We got a half hour. We're open. Oh, nope. We opened at 5.30. I thought it was going to be 6. Doors! Doors! Doors are open. Come on. We're fucked. It's game over already. We have a mochi with grapefruit, cauliflower, and Swiss chard, and tenderloin with mushroom and cherry jus. Is everybody good? Yeah. Great. Let's fucking go. Thank you. Okay, this might be unpopular opinion, but I, I think I would like to work in this type of kitchen compared to like a normal one where it's like courses and you just like, all right, right now we're all working on this course. Yeah. Now it's time to work on this course. Served with uh, quail egg and a turnip puree. And, oh, okay. Ah, uh, that's served with a potato and turnip puree. Egg and potato. Oh. Everybody good? Come on. All right, let's get to work. Uh, on service. Yeah. I don't know. The front of the house got me a little nervous because Richie couldn't even remember it. I mean, it's a whole new menu that he had to learn today. So. Just in case, are there any allergies or dietary restrictions or things you just don't really feel like eating? <laughs> Richie got experience though, like he's, he was trained very well. <laughs> I love this music, it's like, ah, everything's going according to plan, and then it's just, gotta crash, it's gonna crash. 
they're like the servers are lined up in like a like military bro. efficiency bro okay wait i don't think it actually starts till six i think they're sending out stuff like i mean it's courses so probably just small stuff right now <laughs> Jeff, I forgot about the Jeff. Do not refire. Play that shit. Play it. What's wrong with it? Are you fucking kidding me? It's cooked. The cook's off. Refire. That's a fucking asshole, right? Oh. Marcus. Yeah. Can I get a pair and breathe fast, like yesterday? Thank you, Jeff. I'm getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Wagyu, please. Working, Jeff. Thank you. Carmi's not fucking around, dude. He threw that Wagyu out in a heartbeat. That's not good enough. Hands. Man's is meticulous. Hands, please. It is like a symphony, like there's a symphony playing. Yeah. That's what the kitchen feels like. I have a bill in my hands for eleven thousand two hundred and sixty-eight dollars for butter. Buddy, what is it? The fucking rare Transylvanian five titted goat? We cannot fucking keep this up. It's Orwellian. It's dystopian butter. <laughs> <laughs> Orwell. Yeah, one second. Richie, please. move, please. Yeah, one second. Move, 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 oh move. Oh my god, where's the fucking fire? I'm just trying to write a list. Is the night over? Yeah, I think. I'm writing some fucking non negotiables. Joy. Just enjoy. <laughs> Joy. Back to work. What Thank I you. Thank the you. List goes on. Right. Thank you. Very defensive. I see you. Thank you. I see you. Thank you. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Several nights we're getting here. I hate this. What the hell? For surprise? No, fuck surprises. Why? Fuck surprises. I love no. surprises. No. You love surprises. He, he has a pinata. You have to let him do it. No surprise. Yes, fucking surprise. Fuck, surprise. Stay the fuck out of the dream we've come. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Zati. <laughs> Dude, I love Richie. So he just threw that thing oh. down. Oh, that's bad. Okay, you're gonna pour the broth into the bowls, give them each a bowl. Say this is our mere foie broth. Okay, you got it? Yes, sir. Good. Go. Okay. Careful. Thank you, sir. You gotta say doors. Oh god, fact. Why do you make <laughs> me feel like this? What's his ankle? Fuck no, dude. Oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Well, he just took it. Give it to them. <laughs> oh my God, Fack! Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, no, it wasn't like a display, bro. They're supposed to eat that. <laughs> like a show. That was insane. Bro, how soundproof are these doors? Never again. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Dude, what was he thinking? I mean, it, it seems like it's going okay. Like, it, it's not like the end of the world. It could be better. Yeah. But. Outside on the fucking restaurant. Yeah, it was just a plain building. I feel like a lot of like restaurants like yeah. that don't they're not like Applebee's big <laughs> sign. Damn shots. Just saying. There's a difference between the two. Oh man, I would uh, love yeah. one of those, dude. Oh, I thought he was about to remake it with that. Jesus. Are we making money? I mean, I think they know it's going to take a while to make a, like flip a profit. Can we do half 
half a term? We're gonna have to. We have 60 seats, five nights a week, 52 weeks a year. At two and a half terms, each seat is worth $113,750. They keep this place fucking pristine, man. It looks spotless, and they're cleaning it. I know he likes doing it, but he needs to just delegate the jobs out more and get other people to do this. Jeff, do we have to like, he is just... Does he leave this yeah. restaurant? He's here, though, like, all day. Sure is. I mean, it's his life. It's his entire life. He tried to have a girlfriend, and then he called her a waste of time. He quit smoking cigarettes because it takes too long to smoke them. He needs to be in the kitchen. Uh, Galati's still waiting on two. Please, Jeff. T, how we doing? Chef. Yeah, I don't want Carmi anywhere near Tina. He'll just explode. Tina just like needs that reassurance. I feel like like she has the, the skill to do it. I think she's just getting nervous. What, does he not like something? Or he's impressed? I think so. That she just handled that situation yeah, yeah, yeah. and did it on her own? All we have to do is we have to turn all the 732 tops as fast as humanly possible. We can do this. <laughs> all right. Thanks, guys. Back to work. My interpretation of like the full turn, half turn thing is they want to like fill half their dining room, like an extra time or something, or they want to fill it again for like half the time either way you interpret it they want to have more people in the restaurant yeah, yeah they want more people in and out how are we doing hope you guys are having an amazing night um you guys want to see the kitchen <laughs> of course yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, what? They, is he just trying to get them out oh he's trying to get the table available dude Carmi's gonna be pissed i'm having to refire 15 times chef 15 what <laughs> the kitchen gets you a lot of energy Thank you, chefs. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's not a good idea to just take a, a random customer back into the kitchen. Like, it's a chaotic environment. Cell phones locked in lockers for the duration of service. Uh, happy Friday. First weekday or week complete. Oh, are they getting articles about them? Getting some traction? Dude, I feel like sugars get like she's about to pop, dude. You said uh, two months. Yeah, that baby's coming soon. Yeah, me and Rob can relate to Sid right now, kind of, right? <laughs> she's expoing. Yeah, I expoed. Me too. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Great. Those were all the orders, I think. Oh, damn. Oh, that was bad. Forks. <laughs> he can spot a fork anywhere. <laughs> Before Carmi's been there before. <laughs> Have you ever been to Copenhagen? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Don't buy fucking crazy shit and then use it once, Carm. It's so wasteful. Duh, duh, duh. Who the duh, fuck bro. bought Super Stoker? Rishi! <laughs> 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 it's for a Tuesday surprise. What the fuck is a Tuesday surprise? It's actually really fun. <laughs> <laughs> It is very cool that like this symphony has been playing for what feels like the whole episode. I feel I haven't noticed it go away, but it definitely gets quieter. I need fucking hands. Thinking about right, player. Lock in, lock in. Not the time, dude. Where are hands? At the same time, 
Carmi's probably gonna be like, like this until he figures his shit out with Claire. <laughs> For real, dude, you're losing it. I'm not your fucking babysitter. Listen to her, bro. She is the voice of reason in this restaurant. She should be in charge. Oh my god, what? Oh, it's a bad night. It's a bad night. Second counts. Well, that was Doors, episode three. Uh, that was for sure my favorite episode so far. Uh, just nonstop kitchen action the whole time. Definitely uh, more than what I expected as well. I thought it was just going to be opening night, but it, I think it was the first week or the first two weeks of, of the bear being open. And I mean, it's going decent, I think is probably the, the word to use. Like they're getting through the nights with without like massive massive problems obviously there's still crazy bickering going on that last night seemed like probably the worst but it was just cool to see everybody like at their stations doing their thing just making like the machine work and i also highlights of the episode for me were sydney helping tina with that dish and like carmy giving that look of like recognition it felt like and then uh sydney like realizing that carmy needs to calm down and like her just telling him that he needs to calm down i just i really like sydney's growth and like how she's very obviously taking charge in some of the situations and it feels way more equal between her and carmy than it did in the past just a really good episode for her but that last scene i don't really know how to interpret that like her looking at that ticket with that it seemed like a frustrated uh face but I mean, how could you not be frustrated working in that environment? Yeah, I mean, first off, Marcus, I mean, we had that, yeah. uh, that oh, sad, sad beginning. I mean, there was just, that scene was a cheat code for making my tears come out. Um, Did it get you? Oh, dude, yeah, oh, big time. I didn't even know. Big time. <laughs> um, I didn't say anything the whole time, but I mean, it's a funeral He's talking about his mother in an endearing way. Like, dude, they were flowing. But it was very sweet what he was saying. I don't think I've ever heard that. I mean, I haven't been to like a million funerals, uh, thankfully, but I haven't heard that like approach used before where he, he just came up and like, she was this, she was this, she was kind. She, t you know, took care of me. She was nice to me. And I thought that was like beautiful how he spoke about her. Yeah, most of the episode was then very chaotic. Um, I think, I think a lot of, I think everyone's doing pretty good, but obviously pretty good's not the requirement in this kitchen, it's excellence. And I think a few people are lacking or struggling in their own right. Obviously it seemed like Tina was a little uncomfortable during this episode in certain situations, which is normal, but like you said, uh, Sydney picked her up, but I do still feel like she's going to need something else. So like that doesn't have to happen more often. I think that, I mean, it shows the back, like there's the dishwashers are struggling in the back. I mean, th they're going from like probably not too many plates and stuff to now just a million coming in and out. And I think back, he tried serving, didn't go well. Richie, definitely a few slip ups out there. And then obviously Carmi. Uh, he was tweaking there for a bit. His temper is up right now. He's he's just not a patient man right now. He's thinking about a whole bunch of other things. I feel like the only one that was really on their A game was uh, Sydney. I don't think she had any mess ups. Yeah, I just feel like a lot of this season is gonna have to be everyone kind of working on their own thing, maybe working on personal life things as well to help them lock in fully in the kitchen. Cause I do feel like it has to be a, like a, complete system for this to work properly and 
it did work well but i don't think it was perfect obviously so i'm looking forward to them hopefully reaching perfection um this season all right guys well that's pretty much it for this episode if you have been liking these reactions to the bear please leave a like drop a comment and subscribe check out all the links in our description as well we have our patreon discord all of our social medias our second channel and our po box make sure to check all those out and with all that being said we'll see you guys next time for season three episode four of the bear peace out